it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. It's time for another Dollar Tree DIY. So I did a Dollar Tree haul a few days ago and I got a lot of requests to see the Lazy Susan. So I kind of showed you there but I'm going to go into a little bit more detail here. So let me go ahead and show you what we need. You're going to want two, I almost said four, I don't know why. You're going to need two of these uh, cake pans here. And these are the ones with the straight edge. They're not the pie pans. You could use pie pans as well, but um, the cake pans sit really nicely. You're also going to want to grab yourself a bag of these little guys. Oh! Every time these little, there you go, marbles. So they are in the floral section. And so you can grab that. You're going to open that up and I will show you in just a bit, but then you're going to want a topper. And so I just chose one of these chargers for my topper. So let me go ahead, we'll get started and I will show you exactly how quick and easy it is to make your own Lazy Susan. All right, we've got our pan and then we've got our second pan and all we did is take those uh, marbles and open them up and put them in the pan. You could take two if you'd like, depending on, you know, just your own circumstance. So these act as little ball bearings. So if you want some in the middle, you can do that as well. You take your second pan, and you're just gonna put it right on top of there. So it looks just like this. And then you've got your Lazy Susan. So if you wanted to put all kinds of stuff in there, all your little, I don't know, little sprinkles or whatnot, you have this whole pan full, you just move it around and get to what you want. So you've got that there. But let's say you wanted it for some type of little party or something to sit on your, um, on your dining table, something a little bit, um, nicer than just a cake pan. So what you're going to do is you're going to put this on top. So we're going to very easily glue this right on top. And you can just take your, let me see, you can take your E6000, your Fix-All, whatever you'd like, and you're going to put it all the way around here. That's going to give you the permanent hold. You can also, at the same time, add some glue, and you're going to put the glue, hot glue, all the way around. I'm not going to put it all the way around because I'm using mine for a different one, so I'm not using the E6000. I'm going to use it with just the plates because I'm going to attach mine to a different type of um, base. Or not the base, a, t a top. But once you get that in there, and it's all glued, oh, did I let the glue? I did. I let it sit for a little bit too long. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more here so you can see it. And then after I'm done, I'm gonna disassemble this one because it's not the way I um, want to use mine. But they're so inexpensive, I could make more very easily. So now we've got it on there nice and and good. And then again, you're just going to take your pan, fit it right in there. And now you've got your Lazy Susan. So you can set all your different items on there in like a table. Let's just say this is all, um, you know, salts and peppers and whatnot. Man, I've got a lot of glue. And then you just want something else, you turn it around, grab the one you need. Oh, you need something else, you turn it and grab the one you need. So, very quick, very easy, Lazy Susan. And you could paint the bottom if you'd like, you really don't need to. Again, this does have a little bit of motion to it. But it is okay. You go to buy one of these at a store and they are quite expensive. So, all right, I hope you enjoy this. If you do, quick, easy, give me a thumbs up. 
And if you want to see more Dollar Tree DIYs or other crafts, make sure you subscribe right here. All right, beauties. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.